What is going on guys? Welcome to the reaction for Attack on Titan. Holy f***ing shit. This is my reaction to episode 2 of season 4 of Attack on Titan. Basically for some context, last week I also did a reaction to the first episode of Attack on Titan season 4. Hold on, we're going live right now! Let's do it, baby! So last week I did a reaction to the first episode of season 4 of Attack on Titan and the stream was a total dumpster fire. So now I have my whole setup, we're all good, we got a timer in the screen, we got everything. Yeah, this is this is a janky ass setup. Say say hello everybody. Woohoo! Hi! Yeah, there you are, you're on the stream. Okay. We are starting the episode now. Okay, so this is a recap of the last episode, the the war that they were in. Okay, I'm pretty sure we're still in Marley in this episode. We're not inside the walls. Dude, it's so weird seeing like the world like also talking about the Titans that's not inside the walls. This feels like a scene from Shin Godzilla, not gonna lie. Oh, yeah, uh, they're talking about the scouts, or the paradise people. Yeah. Oh shit. Oh, Zeke only has one year left. Grisha Yeager. Oh my god, I literally keep forgetting that he's he's Grisha Yeager's son, dude. All of you, all you people that say that this opening is bad because this opening, I love it. I don't know what it means, but people say it's good. Okay, I'm gonna be on my phone during it though because I want to keep checking on the stream. Last episode. Wait, do you guys see what there's a huge abundance of in this opening? <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> no, it's not. <gasps> Midnight train. I also really like the animation in this. It's my buttholes a lot, dude. I don't know. Marlins are kind of sus. I really hope we see air in this episode. I want to skip ahead and see, but I'm not. I'm getting Reiner is like a man now. Big man. Big sexy man. Aha! I knew it! I think it was already confirmed, kind of. But like, yeah, he eats Ymir. Oh, shit. She's the Cart Titan. I'm spoiling it for you now. She's Cart Titan. I already know. Yo, Cart Titan kind of... Kind of... Hmm. Nice. <laughs> Poop. Hey, Raina. Aww. Aww. This is such a wholesome scene. What? What? Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, man. That was kind of cool. I like that. All right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop the shit. Look. Right there in the foreground, that's Aaron. You cannot convince me otherwise that is not Aaron Yeager spying on the children in Reiner. Reiner! Okay, back to the reaction. Is that the midnight train? Maybe it meant literally. <laughs> oh, so she's 14. Wait, 14. 27 minus 13. 14. So why do these 14 year olds actually look like 14 year olds? But then, like, Aaron and Mikasa, when they're 15, they look like 20-year-olds. <laughs> Eldian devils. Yeah, fuck Eldians. They're disgusting monsters. I'm not picking my nose on stream. You are. Oh, shit. My nose is fucking bleeding. What the fuck? Oh, my God. What the f Hold on. I've never had, like, a bloody nose before. Well, that makes a great video. Oh, my fucking God. <laughs> Wait, I thought I stopped the timer. Shit. <laughs> I like how this, like, kind of gives you a perspective on, like, how in Marley, like, they can be viewed as protagonists, too. It's really f***ing cool. Oh, so they're back in the internment camps. That's sad, dude. Aw, this is wholesome as dude. Dude, this is so wholesome. I really hope these people don't die in the future. Next stream, I won't just start violently bleeding from my nose. I don't know why that happened. Is that Aaron? Hey, that's up. That's Aaron. Holy! That's Aaron. So Aaron's in Marley. He's disguised. I know that's Aaron because I know what he looks like. Oh, so they're not brother and sister, they're cousins. Okay. Dude, they're talking about all the characters. Your days there were not true hell. You kind of liked it there, Reiner. 
Because she has a red armband, right? Doesn't that she mean she's a Titan Shifter? No, you dumbass. Apparently, family members of Titan Shifters also get the armbands. Uh, yeah. What the fuck was that? Oh, hi, Ogazemas. Yeah, fuck you, Falco. I'm confused what's happening now. Oh, he's going back to Paris. Okay. Oh, that's it? Mother. Well, that was an interesting uh, episode. That was actually very enjoyable. Well, wow, that was actually really, I, I like it. This season, I'm really liking the tone of it. I, I enjoy it, all right? I guess let's, like, let's let's talk about the episode, right? I liked seeing like the backstories of characters. I mean, I know in these like big, epic, grand scale shows, they, you, you, you gotta keep the audience like have attention with it, but I can tell that they're gonna really take their time with this and I actually kind of do I've been thinking about it I hope they do split it up into two parts so we can just get more of the show You know, I got some things cleared up that I didn't know last time Like I was under the assumption that Reiner and that Gabby were brother and sister, but they are cousins Ew Reiner Reiner. I don't who is he gonna choose is he gonna choose uh Falco or is he gonna choose Gabby? I mean, that's like, or do do they even get to choose? Like, do the owners of the Titans get to choose who they pick? I'm assuming so, but it's probably also something with the government as well. What else? You see Aaron in this episode, dude. You see, you literally see Aaron. It's not confirmed that it's Aaron, but it is most definitely Aaron. I mean, am I right? It's, that's, that's Aaron. I don't know. I'm, I'm really excited. So that means that Aaron has infiltrated Marley. I don't even know what this stage is called. They, they actually said it in there, but I kept reading it. It's the word libido. I actually don't know what it's called. It, whatever, I think that's the city that they're in. Because Marley's a nation. Marley is a continent? Marley is either a country or a continent. I have no clue. And Reiner and Zeke want to go back to Paradise to finish what they started because, I mean, why wouldn't they? But I don't think that actually happens because, as we see in the trailer, the scouts infiltrate Marley. So... So a big, a big theme is that modern day weapons are becoming... Not modern day, modern day in this time. Weapons are becoming too strong for Titans. Like, eventually, weaponry will overpower Titan, which I think is f***ing cool because, like, obviously, in a more advanced nation, they're gonna have stronger weapons. And we're in, like, a post-World War One type era. It's either pre or post, like, or during. I don't know. That's probably... It's World War One. That's that's definitely the era that they're in. Or World War Two. Around those times. I like that you see Pike and... P Peak Pike, whatever the f*** her name is, and Galliard. I like that you see them. They're the Jaw and Cart Titan. He looks at them and it's, um, Annie. This is a jaw titan that gets eaten by Ymir. And then this is Berthold, I'm assuming. That's Galliard. I'm confused. Either way, he viewed them as, like, their past down. It's also nice seeing Annie back. This is the first thing I predicted. The people in Marley would be, like, the protagonists throughout the whole show. And it would, up until the scouts come back. But I'm pretty sure the scouts are all flawed people because they all got blood on their hands. Look at it. I have drips of blood all over my keyboard. Did you catch Aaron in the episode? <laughs> Episode. Yes, he is. He's in this episode. Where? That's Aaron right there. What the hell? Uh, yeah, like, that's Aaron. <laughs> oh my god. I know. So, so far, we have seen Aaron and Jean. Jean, Jean, Jean. Jean Kirstein. Yeah, yeah. Uh, dude. Oh, I I'm loving this show so much. Yeah, huh? You like it?